What's happening guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. We've got another really cool episode of some really awesome snap-on stuff. I know you guys checked out one of my last few videos with the new toolbox that came in and this time I'm going to get going into work early and we're going to put this thing together. I'm going to show you how the Epic Toolbox came, how it all goes together, piece by piece, bit by bit, and we're going to get this thing put together right and hopefully you guys enjoy the brand new toolbox with the newest color that Snap-on has to come out with for its trim option. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. it it comes with hardware um, on the side of these we'll have a look here the side does have threaded holes here there and then normally where you would have a handle there's also holes there and there that are threaded as well then inside of our cabinet there are holes up in here and back there and then also at the mid level to where we're going to be putting the mounting screws through to the box so we'll get that done and actually the wheels on this right side are a little smaller than the wheels on this side so to bring that up I've got a couple of washers there on the ground that's going to roll up to be able to bring it level
All right, so our snap-on badge just literally just kind of goes right here into the holes. And then on the back side of the door, there are holes for inserting on that one. Uh, it's gonna be an eight millimeter, and there are some nuts that are included in the kit for that. So once you get the four bolts in here mounted, which are located there, up top, in there, back there, and back in there, then we're going to be taking off our uh, casters. The Epic Series, they have casters that go all, you know, they, they swivel all the way around. And then the casters here on the cabinets, they are not swivel ones. So those are actually just for shipping only. So we're gonna be removing those next. Yeah. is this blue kind of retainer here that you can use the jack up or you know whatever you want it's an extra support for it we don't need that one we're going to be taking that one off too as soon as we take the other side off shipping plate and now there are just a few more that we can cinch everything into right here and on the other side as well there's gonna be some bolts with some nuts to go across to cinch the bottom part together because as you can see up top we're good and then the bottom we still get a little bit of a gap so we'll be getting away with that yeah. Just like that, and then we'll repeat for the other side. But you can see all the pulled the gap right back together. So now we got even gap, and this thing is secured all the way up and down. That's how we do it, guys. Okay, so we got everything put together. Now I did get this, it's got echo locks and everything. And reading the instructions, it says these are all programmed from the factory to each individual bottle. So this one came in this box, and it's funny enough, each one of them came with two remotes. So I've got two remotes for this one, two remotes for the top, two remotes for that cabinet, and two remotes for that cabinet. So this one is for the main box. Lock, unlock. So now I want to use this remote for all of them. So I think we got it right. We have to put these in programming mode, each one of them, if you haven't messed with these echo locks before. So in each of them, there is 
a button that you kind of hold up here until it starts to beep. You let go of it, then hit a button. Now this remote is programmed for this one and this one. Okay, I want to do this kind of thing. Hold this button. One more to go. one single remote and now I have two or six extra remotes. Eh, paperweights I guess. Oh look. and then you can see that I started to I mounted my little TV back here in the back hand corner here. That's gonna be for my computer and we'll be doing a couple more cool things with this here soon. Alright so we've got everything hooked up to the way it really needs to be. Everything is cinched all together. Now we're going to be talking lights. Uh, ended up going with the snap-on kit. They threw it in for free. Uh, this one is a remote control set, but we got another set of lights that's got the different style module too. Um, these lights, they've got two different kinds of ways of turning on, I guess. One would be activation off of a normally open or normally closed magnetic switch or a remote. So this one is going to be the uh, what size light is this? What are it's the like the five foot, the four and a half foot light, something like that. That's gonna go inside the hutch, and then we've got two different modules. Uh, this one is a wireless module. We'll be keeping that one for a later time because I want this one to open when the switch comes on, or when the hutch comes open, the switch contacts are connected. So that's a wireless one, and then this one is going to be our wired one with a magnet um, switch. So as you can see here on the module you've got power that comes in, the magnet input, and the output to the lamp. So then the sensor is going to be this one right here and all you got to do is, oh, this magnet's really strong, when it goes up to it that turns on your light. So we're going to put this thing up here, mount it up there, and then this, these boxes also are magnetic, so we'll be able to magnet those up in the corner of the hutch and then put our switch plate right here. Well, put that here so we get some light right up in here and then the magnet against the inner steel panel of that. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.
sure there's ones for the outsides too, but you guys don't need to see those. And later on, we'll do the lights for the cabinets. We actually got those on order because they were the wrong kind, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Got my computer hooked up, and then the wiring will bring you guys around. This thing is kind of bananas for the back. So I've got the orange power wire coming up into, and it feeds the back of here. So then there are two outlets on the back of the top. That one over there goes to that keyless entry. This one goes up to a power bank or a surge protector where I have plugged in everything from my computer. I've got this power for the power drawer there. I have not yet hooked up the power drawer for that one. You've got the locks for this one, the echo locks for the top plug in here and the echo locks for the main box plug in right there. So in other words, this box takes a whole lot of power. You would have never thought that for a freaking toolbox, but it does. So got to get that going here and we'll figure out what else we got to do. All right. So the last thing we've got here is our handle snap on handle to go on the side of it. This thing is a really badass handle, especially compared to the ones on the other boxes over here. Like that one. This one's like twice as nice. I'll put it on there, but I'm going to wait until after I get this thing put in place to know which one I, which side I have more room on, but it will mount to the sides on the cabinets there. So that'll end up looking pretty good, but it's done and it looks glorious. Absolutely glorious. I just checking that thing out. It's a big old wall of awesomeness. I still can't believe that I have this and it's finally here after 19 weeks, 19 weeks guys. And it's finally here. That's how you put it all together. Uh, aside from the lights, like I said, we got those on order. We got a couple little things, little brackets and stuff on order. Uh, Going to be some cool new future videos for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for tuning in and you guys stay awesome.